I'm back. This is my new invention. I did a lot of upgrades on it. There's so many upgrades, it's just it's going to take me a while to try to explain it all. First of all, I started out with uh, I had metal gears inside of here, and I turned it over to plastic gears. These are plastic gears all through here, and as you can see, if I zoom in, right there's the motor. I changed that to a different spot location. Let me zoom right on in. See, there's the motor, and there's the gear that it's hooked up to. And then, as you take a look at here, it drives this other gear, which is a second changeover. And then there's a third changeover. So there's three changes in this gear right down there. See the third change? That's which makes it a whole lot better. Uh, I had a lot of problems with the uh, magnetation and stuff. Like it just kept, you know, it kept drawing all from these magnets here and that. So it's a lot better. Uh, somebody asked a question about these will be demagnetized. Well, actually, these magnets, right, this magnet and this magnet, are pulling you know, pulling in each other. They're not repelling. It's just a small magnet that's repelling in here, so it doesn't discharge the way it's designed. Another thing is, I hollowed out the inside of this. Let me get you a zoom right on in here. bring it on in. I put a coil right in there and that and you can see that I changed it. Instead of having to come up I put a coil in there and I hollowed out the inside of it and I put uh, resting pads on the bottom of it. The way this works now is a little different than what I had before. right here this magnet what's going to happen now is this magnet right here is going to come in and it's going to push it and then this one's going to repel it the other way so it's just going to push and pull back and forth which you can see what I mean As it, watch when I push this in here See how that's moving inside there? So that's what's going to happen. It's going to, it's going to push it back and forth. Without these uh, alignment magnets, right here, it would flap kind of like a bird. So those kind of keep it rocking back and forth so that you can have this oscillation. I'm a, let me... Uh, hook this up and start up and just show you what's going on here at this point I don't have the full loop I'm trying to get it gone so I mean somebody don't sit there and say hey you know this guy he ain't got the whole full loop together I realize that at this point but I'm head towards what I want I'll just hook this up once and uh, there's no trickery or anything here as you can see, I'm just going to hook these wires up, and I'm not even going to try to even use my fingers to start it. It's going to start itself. Let me put this in the position here. Okay, now watch, watch closely. As I hook this wire right up, it'll all of a sudden take off. See, I didn't even touch it with my fingers. And in this, you can see these are really bright. See how they are flashing? Now watch very closely. It's creating power in there. I don't know if you can see it or not. See how bright these lights are? You can see it's running by the flashing of it. Matter of fact, I'll zoom right on in and show you. See how that's running back and forth inside there? gone by Faraday's law. 
me take you over on the other side over here. Show you, zoom right on in too, see? It's running back and forth inside there. This magnet's pushing it, this magnet's one, one's pushing and the other one's pulling. It's drawn back and forth. As you can see, this is creating energy inside of this here. Now, if I unhook it, and then you can see it stops. It's not doing anything. If I put it back on, hook this wire right up here, just watch. Automatically, it takes off. Wait a minute, I don't have that wire hooked up quite right. Just didn't catch it. There. Now watch. See how it takes off? It's getting bright. And it's oscillating. I didn't even touch it with my fingers, these things, to get them gone. It just takes off automatically. I have improved that. So it oscillates better than it did before. But I, but I only got, right now, I only got one coil hooked up to it. But like I said, like as you can see, it is oscillating inside there very fastly. Back and forth. I had a hard time trying to figure out how to build that, and I came up with this idea and finally got it to work. Um, some of the other things is I'm getting ready to build the sections on that, that expand out. Uh, let me kind of go around this way. I'm going to start coming out this way and start building sections on it and have a whole bunch of these. It, it's improved quite a bit. Let me shut this off again and show you how much it's improved on the oscillation. Remember, if you go back to video one, you can remember uh, that that it wasn't, you know, see how much much more responsive it is? It's much more responsive than it was before. So I've improved that. So one of the things I improved was I put a three gear change in. The second one is the oscillation much. The third thing is I put these this coil in here. I had to hollow this out inside here and then I put things here on the bottom. As you can see it's it's also got some different counterweights inside of here. And then I got different gear ratios I could put inside here if I choose to get that precise movement that I want. It's also, I had to extend this out, put these extension pads right here so you can get this out further. And, that, and I improved that. So as you can see, it's had quite a few improvements. It's and what I'm going to do is I got a complete machine shop in which I am going to build the new sections onto it and add the coils onto it and try to calculate the point of no return. Once I hit the point of no return, you can see how it is going to work on that. So um, what I'm going to do is just try to wrap this project up and get all this put together in that and hopefully I can uh, put a small hole in the second law of thermodynamics causing it to bleed. Once I cause it to bleed I only need one percent more than output than what it has in and I have proved something that nobody has uh, uh, ever proved before. Once I prove that the second law of thermodynamics could be beat even if it's by one percent there's that proves the law wrong and I'm going to take it to the science international science community and he's going to let them look at it he's going to let them tear it apart I'm going to let them look at whatever they want to see and I'm not going to play around so I'll let you go and I'll show you some more upgrades as they come thank you for your time